Well, it came to me through my godmother's daughter, who's now 93, and she and my mother were best of friends. She had no children, and this was her second husband's, first wife's, mother's jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot to keep track of. It is. Uh, <laughs> do you know anything about the particulars of the rings, such as the gemstones that are involved? Only that I assume they're rubies and diamonds set in gold. The designer happens to be a gentleman by the name of David Webb. For starters, you are right. There are rubies in the center of the ring. They are surrounded by lovely, lovely diamonds, bright white stones. Then we see the gold, which has this amazing haystack sort of appeal to it. Along with the gold, the diamonds themselves are actually set in platinum. So you have rubies, diamonds, platinum, and 18 karat gold. Wow. If we looked at this just as a ring with those components, a reasonable auction estimate on it should you ever be interested in that sort of pricing, would realistically be about $3,000 to $5,000. If we look at it in a different context and we say with all of those elements, and there's a designer name attached, David Webb, who was a very prominent jeweler in New York City, mostly, and this particular piece with his name and being an item that would have been made between the late 1950s and the early 1960s, this would increase the value, definitely. So the value jumps up then and becomes a $5,000 to $7,000 ring. Okay. But we're not done. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to take this up one more level. Okay. Because in studying the rubies that you have here, yes. there's something that's very special about them. These rubies, the other experts and I have conferred, and we have a sneaking suspicion that these could be Burma rubies. In order to qualify that so that if you ever were looking to sell a piece like this, they would need specific certification. Okay. But with that certification and being labeled Burmese rubies that are unheated in a David Webb ring from the late 50s and the 1960s, this type of an item at auction would have an estimate of $8,000 to $12,000. Really? <laughs> yes. So it's a wonderful piece. It's in phenomenal condition. And it's been an absolute treat to see. Thank you, Jill. You've blown my socks off. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs>